This is a private video for our patreon.com slash billionaire stocks. Patreon.com slash billionaire stocks members. How do you find the next Apple that you could have bought 20 years ago? In fact, I think uh, th there was a thing that said that if, instead of buying the first Apple Lisa or something, uh, one of the first Apple computers, if you had just spent that $3,000 in Apple stock, you'd be a multimillionaire right now. You'd have something like $20 million or something. <laughs> had you put $3,000 into Apple 20 years ago. Um, okay, so how do you find the next Apple? If you saw that big, long hour and eight minute video about the Fed, um, federal stimulus in the stock markets, the main point in that video at the end was that the Fed has to have a counterpart. The Fed, it's just, just the nature of duality in the universe and it's expressed best in Taoism when the concept of the yin-yang is explained. If there's a yang, if there's a strong entity, then there always has to be a weak entity. Uh, it's um, everything in the universe comes in pairs, strong and a weak. And uh, if you go a little further down the principle of the yin-yang, there are times in which the yin becomes yang and the yang becomes yin. There are times when the weak becomes the stronger and the stronger becomes the weak. And I, I cited examples, um, Nike and Reebok, Mercedes and BMW, Lamborghini and Ferrari, um, Nissan and Toyota. You see how for every single thing, there's always something else that is the competitor. It's the same with everything. So um, let's look at Apple, for instance. What made Apple such a stellar success? It was, interestingly, always the yin. Think about that. Apple was always the yin. There was Microsoft, and then there was Apple. Apple was always the little guy that nobody really thought would succeed, but there had to be somebody that succeeds that's a competitor to Microsoft. It's just the fundamental rule of the universe. It's a yin-yang rule. You can't just have Microsoft, just like you can't just have the Fed. You can't just have central banks. Now are, you st is, are the thought bubbles starting to percolate in your head? Oh, that's weird. Now you look at the whole world and you think, huh, in the electric, vehicle space there's only one Tesla are you are, are the thought bubbles starting to really percolate now there has to be there must be absolutely will be a miner that at one point flips Tesla and then maybe goes back to being the miner for every major like a Tesla there will be a miner that competes and at one point flips the major that's just the rule of the universe this is why I love Taoism. Um, if you know how the universe works, you can kind of predict anything and you'll be right, uh, given enough time. So let's look at Apple a little further. Apple not only flipped Microsoft, but now is one of the most valuable companies in the world and is staying one of the most valuable companies in the world. That's weird. So did Apple now become the yang in Microsoft? Is the yin? Is that what's happening? Because that would just break the rule of the yin and yang combination where Coke and Pepsi. Remember, I, I told you in the other uh, video that Pepsi actually sold more than Coke for a brief period, period of time when Michael Jackson stood behind Pepsi and uh, was the central spokesperson for Pepsi for a while. And then Pepsi went back down and Coke is still number one again. So the major became minor and then boop, flip right back. Why is Apple so successful? It's because Apple is a double yin. It's a double yin. What do I mean by that? If you know tech, you know what I'm talking about. Apple's main competitor is not Microsoft, was not Microsoft. Apple's main competitor was actually, think about this. Microsoft made software. Apple is a, you got it, hardware company. Isn't that weird? So Apple really isn't, Apple's strong suit isn't software, as you can tell. If you look at iTunes, software sucks. Apple operating system is great, but the rest of their ecosystem, the Apple website, sucks. Anything that's software sucks. So when I say Apple is a double yin, 
what is its second yang? Back then it was, you got it, IBM. IBM was hardware. Microsoft was a software. Apple was software and hardware. Apple software was so much easier to use, the UI, the GUI, was so much easier to use than anything in Microsoft, people went to Apple. Adobe went to Apple. Apple's hardware was so much cleaner, more beautiful than IBM's hardware. Yep. Apple became the world leading number one highest market cap, highest valuation corporation because it was a double yen. Now that's your job. Find the next double yen company. How do we do that? Become a member or stay a member of patreon.com slash billionaire stocks and we'll find them with you. Won't that be fun?